Stacy, I don't assume you've had a chance to work with a analytical balance or a chemical balance. No, I haven't. Well, they're a real challenge because you have to watch almost everything because they're so sensitive. Now, ordinarily, you've seen them with two pans or something, yeah, or the weight that you move down. Yeah. Well, here's the same idea, but this one is electronic in that it, it uh, dampens out very quickly so it doesn't vibrate back and forth, and you can get the reading right here. Yeah. Right now, it's a, it needs zeroing. You see that bar down there? Yeah. We'll push that one bar. Okay. It was jumping around. How come? Well, it's it's very very delicate, as I say. Watch, I'm going to wave my hand at the pan up above. Okay. Oh, it, it went up to about point one two. Yeah. Yeah. Just just the, the just the, the air. The air moving against it can do it. So they very often put it in a in a glass cabinet so that the air currents can't affect it. I see. That's why it's such a challenge to to work with one of these because you have to watch all of those things. So I thought I'd give you a little problem. Here is a piece of paper. Would you tell me how much a piece of paper weighs? All right. Zero at first. It's stuck at one there. There you go. Okay, here you are. What does it weigh? Weighs about 4.5, well, 4.53. That's grams. Okay, now I'd like you to tear off a piece that weighs about half a gram. Okay, so it weighed about four, so I'll have to divide it in about eight sections. All right. See how close it is. 0.4849. 4.9, very, very close indeed, yes. That was a good guess. Mm -hmm. Now, to give you an idea how sensitive the balance is, I want to put that piece of paper down over there. We'll refer to that later. Here's a match in the battery clip. How much does it weigh? About 7.54. Okay, I'm grams. going to have you light the match. Okay. What do you think will happen to it? Well, it's going to start burning, and mm -hmm. the sulfur and the wood are going to start going into gases. Mm -hmm. So it's going to, it should weigh less. Okay, here's a match. Light that match. All right. Just... Yeah, I'll take this one now. And I'll blow on it away from the scale. Yeah, it's already dropped about three. Now it's dropped to four point zero four grams. Five, eight. Nine, ten. It's already dropped point one of a gram. Yeah, yeah. So you you guessed correctly in that some of the chemicals in the in the match are being changed into a gas and are being given off into the air, so it should weigh less. Uh huh. All right. Lost yeah. about point two. Yeah. Point one nine of a gram. Okay. Now I have a sort of nice little challenging puzzle for you. Here is a flask. Okay. Here's a stopper that goes in the flask, and here is a headache tablet. I want to put this off to the side like this, and I want you now to get as close as you can to having that whole group, by adding water, the whole thing is going to be about 300 grams. So go ahead, okay. start. It's at one, about 148 now. Mm -hmm. So I have about 150 to go. 170, 180. Stop just short, and then you can use this medicine dropper to they get closer. Okay. 250, 60, 70, 95. Okay, now. Minutes. Now the medicine dropper. And notice as you drop it in how much a drop weighs. Okay, I'll drop one drop and I'll see. It's 37 now, so. About, that one weighed about 11. Yeah. Not 11, pardon me. About Point. Point. Yeah. Keep going. You got a whole f f five tenths of a gram, half a gram to get up to, to uh, three hundred. We're really close. Oh, careful! Oh, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 97. Close enough. Ninety-seven. Seven. That's close. One more drop. One. All right. One more drop. I think you'll go over probably. Yeah. I yes, you did. About six. Okay. Point now the reason six. why I wanted you to to do all that is because. You've weighed everything now, right? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to put the headache tablet inside the flask on a string. I'll pull it off here for a minute so I can put this in tight, but not too tight. When I put okay. it back on, it should weigh the 307. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now pick up the flask and move it around a little bit so that you get water on the headache tablet. Okay. Until it drops off into the water. All right. Okay. 
Okay. There you go. Still should weigh the same? Yeah, yeah it's weighing the same. Okay. Now, what should happen, however, because uh, why does it weigh the same? When here, see all that chemical reaction going on in there? Because all the gas is being trapped in yes, the, in the, by the stopper. Watch what's happening to that stopper. Is it going to pop off? Well, I don't know. It depends on how much pressure we can get in there. I can shake it a bit, perhaps. There, it's popped off. Oh, wow. Wow, it hit you right on the head, <laughs> yeah. too. Some of the gas is still being given off, right? Mm-hmm. But let's not wait for it to finish. I'll put the stopper back on. How much gas did you give off? About 0.5. Yeah, something like that, mm -hmm. right? Remember how I had you weigh this piece of paper? Yeah. And what was that? 0.5. Point point five. So now when somebody drops a headache tablet into water, can you tell them how much gas is given off? 0.5. Yeah, because at the you, Yes, because you were able to use a very delicate balance.